Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I've just released a brand new course called Custom GPT. We're actually going to implement GPT model from scratch. You will learn how to do everything from actually like setting up the transformer models with the encoder and the decoder. We're going to set up the whole architecture for GPT model. You'll learn how ChatGPT and all those large language models are actually like implemented under the hood. Then we're actually like going to have our data sets as well. First of all, in the introduction, we're going to go through the theory, but also just like how these transformers work under the hood, the theory behind the transformers, and also the history behind the GPT models. Then we're going to jump into the data set where first of all, we're going to find the data set. We're going to find a bunch of data sets throughout the whole course. We're basically going to take a text data set, like for example, lyrics from an artist, screenplays or something like that, an arbitrary text file. And then we're basically just going to take that data set. We're going to train our own custom GPT model. So I'm going to call it a tiny GPT model. And then we're basically just going to take our data set, train our GPT model and then generate new output. So in the end of the course, we're actually going to generate new songs from Drake based on all the lyrics from him that we have trained our tiny GPT model on. So this is actually like pretty awesome. When we have done the data set, we're going to do the tokenization implementation. So we can actually like train our custom GPT model on our data. Then after that, in the course, we're going to implement and go over the whole GPT architecture implementation with both the encoder and also the decoder. We're going to implement the attention ahead for self attention. So the scale dot product attention, we're going to have the individual transformer blocks together with the feed forward networks and also the layer normal stations in between. Then we have the transformer blocks. We're going to combine them into the encoder and also the decoder. And then the decoder can actually like go in and generate new data based on the previous input. So the idea behind these GPT models that we're going to implement, it will be on a low level. So all of you guys can follow through step by step. We're going to do the whole custom implementation in PyTorch and Python. So the idea is that we actually just want to throw in an input sequence and that will be on a character level in this course. So we're going to take one character. We're going to train our GPT model to predict the next character with probabilistic prediction. Then we're basically just going to have a sentence. We're going to predict next character, the next character, the next character. And by doing that, we will actually like generate whole sentences. And at the end, we're going to generate whole songs that our model has been trained on. Then when we have our GPT models and our transformers set up, we're going to combine all of that into our tiny GPT model. We're going to train it. We're going to set up a loss function, optimizer, and so on. We're going to create the train loop from scratch and also how we can generate the new text. After we train a model, we will actually like build a web application in Streamlit where we actually like just combine all of it. We're going to have Streamlit as a web application. You can upload an arbitrary text file, which is our data set. Then we can hit train. We will train our GPT model, our tiny GPT model directly in our web application. Then we can have a track bar, which basically just shows when our model is done training. After it's done training, we're going to have a button where we can just hit generate text and it will do the exact same thing as ChatGPT, where we're basically just going to throw in something and then it's going to generate new data based on the model that it has trained on. So just as ChatGPT, as you see with ChatGPT, we just get the text as an output after we have given it a prompt or a question. You can basically just take whatever text data set you can find, throw it into the model, train it, create some cool applications around it. And then you will know how these ChatGPT and large language models work under the hood and how we can build an application around that. So this course here will teach you a ton. I really hope to see you guys in there. It is really good to understand like all these intermediate steps of how these ChatGPT models work, but also just how Transformer work under the hood. But the most important thing, we're going to implement everything from scratch so you guys can follow through step by step. I hope to see you guys in there or else I'll see you in one of the other videos here on my YouTube channel. Bye for now.